and welcome to MASL TV. We're previewing the opening night game between the Tacoma Stars and Milwaukee Wave. I'm here with Coach Juliana Oliviero from the Milwaukee Wave. Welcome, Coach. Thanks for having me, Jeff. All right. It's been a great off season uh, for you guys. Uh, last time we saw you it was a kind of a bitter end. Uh, it was a great game in the uh, in the conference finals. Um, but you you've retained a lot of your team, and you, you've even added a couple small pieces that might be the last uh, touches you need, right? Yeah, I mean, we uh, we had a young team last year. We grew as the season went on, and uh, we were we were very happy uh, how we were playing towards the end of the season. Uh, not happy with the the outcome against the Blast. Who you know, congratulations, uh, they did what they had to do, and they're, they're the champions, back to back champions. So we give them all the credit in the world. Uh, but we liked where we were at at the end of last season, and and we have had uh, we've added a couple pieces that we think uh, you know just an experienced part of the game uh, can can really help us. And one of those players is, is Jonathan Santos. What does it mean to bring Santos back? Uh, you know what he's he's that type of player that he might not stand out all the time, but uh, one of his big strengths is just knowing what the game needs. You know. Does it need a goal? Does it need a big defensive play? Does uh, does uh, does it need a hard tackle? Um, he's a player that can can really do a lot of different things, and you know, and, and one of the big things for us that he adds is is just knowing what the game needs at crucial moments. So uh, we're we're happy to have him. We had a lot of guys uh, play their first year last year, and uh, you know, knock on wood, sophomore jinx, but. Uh, you know what they learned they learned a lot last year and we're expecting uh we're expecting to have even better seasons this year now one of the biggest offseason moves you had was actually keeping a couple guys keeping them home uh re-signing ian bennett and max ferdinand what do they mean to your team yeah that was a duo last year that uh you know there are times when you're, you're coaching and you just can't help but take a step back and say wow that was really fun to watch uh really enjoyable uh they were on the same page mentally and, and, uh, you know, they, they all, they, they could read each other's mind. It was, it was really impressive. So, uh, to have those two guys back and, and what they bring uh, besides their offensive ability as, as far as experience and leadership and, uh, you know, just camaraderie and, and helping us, uh, create a positive environment within our team. Uh, it's, it's just great. They, they had so much positivity, you know, on top of being great players and, and great goal scorers and creative players in this league. All right. Now, offseason's over. First game is tonight. And what are we looking for as, uh, as your team faces off against Tacoma? You know what? We got uh, a ton of respect for Tacoma. Very unfortunate not to make the playoffs last season. A team that uh, went out, went in the offseason, and uh, they made some moves, and, and they made some great moves. I mean, we got to see Ramon Palmer and Robert Palmer and Elaine Mantingal in Kansas City, where you're from, for the past three, four seasons. And uh, definitely, definitely not looking forward to seeing those guys again. Uh, you know, when they came out to the West Coast, it's kind of like, whew, don't got to see those guys. But here we are, first game of the season, and uh, we had a thriller when they were with KC in the playoffs last season. And I think they're going to add a lot of uh, experience and, and knowledge to help that young, uh, that young Tacoma team that's just, just really athletic and just all around. They're all very good soccer players, you know, and, and some of them are still learning the arena game, but just really good soccer players. And anytime you got a goal, an MVP goalkeeper like Danny Waltman uh, in between the pipes, I mean, anything can happen on, on any day. And, and he's such a great competitor. Um, you know, he's been a champion in this league. So Tacoma looks great. Uh, they, they look great. Uh, that, that whole division looks really strong this year. But uh, hey, you know what? For, for an opening uh, opening night, uh, I don't think the MSL could ask for, for a better game. You, you're exactly right. I mean, you're looking at a very young team, up-and-coming team. Uh, like you said, they just barely missed out on the playoffs last year. Your team, which uh, a lot of people said could have gone all the way, uh, had it just a couple things turned right in that, that conference final. So it's a good matchup. Um, what do you see are your strengths against Tacoma? Against Tacoma, you know what, we got, you know, we talked about Danny Waltman. You look on our end, we, we've got a, a goalkeeper in Josh Lamos, not only a great shot stopper, but uh, a very technical, skilled goalkeeper with the ball at his feet. 
Uh, we're we're going to look to use him, and if we can run some clock, you know, it's an away game. You know, we talked as a team. It's an away game. Our defense is going to have to be at a premium. We're going to have to we're going to have to play great on the defensive side of the ball. You know, those Tacoma players are going to be in front of their home fans. Our opening night, there's going to be a lot of energy. So, our defense and our goalkeeper, um, you know, they're going to have to come up big. And and uh, if we can uh, take a little time off the clock with our possession game, you know, that's something we're looking to do as well. Uh, just kind of take the crowd out of it would be one of our goals and and slowly uh, slowly uh, build our way into this game. Uh, you know, we always say we want to be we want to have a chance come the fourth quarter. Uh, so that's that's kind of our mentality. It's an away game. Uh, you never know what can happen in arena soccer. It's a game of runs. You know who who can control the chaos. You can you know you can say it all, but. Uh, we won't really know until that, that opening whistle goes, but uh, we're excited. We, you know, we got some ideas on how we want to go about it. And, and if it's working, we'll stick with it. If it needs to be changed, uh, we'll, we'll change it up as well. All right. Great. Thanks very much, coach. This is Jeff. You said, I've been talking with coach Julian Oliviero about tonight's game, the opening night of the MASL uh, right here on MASL TV. Kickoff is at seven 30 Pacific time. You can watch it on MASL TV. You can watch it on MASLsoccer.com, or you can watch it on our channel on YouTube. Can't wait to see you there. Coach, thanks again for joining us, and uh, we'll see you on the field.